Laravel has multiple ways to handle API authentication. Sometimes it can be confusing to decide which one to choose for a specific project. Hopefully this video will help you decide which authentication method to pick when starting out a new project. Let's dive right in and discuss Laravel's built-in authentication, Laravel Sanctum and Laravel Passport. Laravel comes with built-in cookie-based session authentication that you would typically use in a regular non-SPA or API applications. It is used to authenticate the web browser that the user is making the requests from. Laravel Passport is a server implementation of OAuth 2 that can be used to authenticate APIs that need OAuth features. OAuth is an authentication protocol that allows users to grant limited access to third-party applications without sharing their usernames and passwords. For example, you can tell Twitter that it's okay for your app to access your Twitter's profile without providing your username and password directly to the app. So even if this app gets compromised, your username and password is not. Laravel Sanctum is a lightweight authentication package that can be used to authenticate an SPA, a mobile application, or a regular token-based application that does not require all of the OAuth features. Laravel Sanctum can be both stateless and stateful using session cookies. If request is coming from your own first-party SPA, then Sanctum authenticates the user using the session cookie instead of the tokens, with the benefits of CSRF protection. However, if the cookie is not found, then Sanctum checks for the bearer token header and tries to authenticate the user with that. This is usually the part that seems a bit confusing, but it's actually pretty simple. For example, to authenticate a mobile app, user needs to enter username and password and submit the form. Laravel will validate username and password and will create a new access token and send it back in response. Your mobile app then needs to store this token and pass it on further requests via authorization header as bearer token. Because a request is not coming from your first party SPA, Laravel Sanctum checks the bearer token and authorizes it if the token is valid. If you are authenticating another service with your API where user is not entering username and password, then you manually generate the access token for a specific user and use that token to authenticate with your app. These tokens can either be manually created or through some kind of admin panel where your users are able to generate tokens for themselves. And finally, if your SPA and your Laravel API share the same top-level domain, then you don't need any tokens at all. Laravel Sanctum will use cookie-based session authentication when requests are coming from your SPA. Your SPA can be in a separate repository or in the same repository as your Laravel API. So should you go with Sanctum instead of Passport? The answer is yes, in my opinion, unless you really need all of the OAuth features. In the next video, we'll talk about how to authenticate your first party SPA with Laravel Sanctum. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. As you probably noticed, this is a new channel, so any feedback is greatly appreciated, whether it's good or bad. Hit like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.